Hey, there we are. All right. Hello, hello, hello. So, what suit am I wearing? Fusion or power? All right, what's the uh, what's the incentive on fusion versus power suit? Fusion suit. Yeah. Are we doing power suit or I can barely hear the runner? By the way, this game audio is really loud for me. Game audio is loud. Okay. Did a power suit or a fusion suit make it in? Fusion. Fusion. We're doing fusion. Yeah, fusion right. suit's winning. Shout outs to you guys. Also, uh, stream team, can you turn on my game audio a bit? That's really loud. I can't hear anything else. All right, that. It's still loud for me. You might have turned. You might have turned Ari's down. You, yeah, you turned mine down. This mic instead, or that one? Okay, I don't know. The game audio just went way up for me for no reason. Oh, but it's plugged into that because those are headphones, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um. That's a lot better. I think I can hear you, Ari. I'd like to be up a little bit for a game, just tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. If it's a problem, don't worry about it. I should be. I'll be fine. Yeah, it was just. Oh, okay. All right, check, check. Oh, that's a lot better. Check. check. All right, I should be good. Yep. Um. Um. I probably. I probably should sit a little closer because this wire is like pretty short. Yeah. Okay. Couch is comfy though. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm missing out a little bit, but maybe. Oh well, that's okay. Sit right there. Be I feel honored. Bird. All right. I feel so honored right now. Good. All right. Three, two, one, go. Woo! So shout out to you guys up this morning on the West Coast. Uh, if you're in the Prime community, you're probably on Central or Eastern time. So. If you're watching, shout out to you guys. Shout All out right. to the Prime community in general. So right from the bat, I'm going to mention that movement in this game is extremely broken. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of use of the scan visor in this game for using... Um, okay. Yeah, I missed the... Nice. <laughs> so that's the first phase of the uh, first boss of the game. Second phase <laughs> is coming up. And let's see if it goes better. Oh. That was oh, okay. That's okay. All right. So you're going to see the use of the scan visor here for um, what's called dashing. Um, the reason scan visor is really important, besides for um, understanding the game's lore, is that um, there's a lot of points you can lock onto, and we're going to abuse this mechanic by um, basically letting go of L, that um, the lock on button, whenever we try to dash to the side. Um, it abuses sort of like the speed cap of the game and your momentum, where you can just jump extremely far distances. There's no sideways speed cap. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So you can see we're just going to jump through this room, you know, just like butter. Um, but aside from just you know. Really nice execution. Uh, Frigate actually isn't too different for the you know this tutorial level here, so um, we're just gonna kind of go through the motions, go through these rooms as quickly as possible, just optimal movement. Yeah. So one thing I'm doing throughout some of these rooms when I'm not morphing is a technique called L jumping. Um, you slow down when you jump first, and then you speed up. But if you hold L, your speed is locked, so you let go of L after or after a few frames to make sure that you only get the uh, increase in speed. Yeah. It's Pretty interesting stuff, and then you can also do what's called like an R jump to um to gain even more distance, but you lose control. You lose uh, more control over where you can where your trajectory goes. All right, so coming up, I'm going to be skipping. Oops, I'm going to be skipping a, an elevator by doing a bomb jump over here. I should start doing this. I have no excuse anymore. I do the Jack Eight Seven Nine strat where I just kind of scan dash. Up, up, actually, take the elevator and scan dash. Shout about eight seconds. Shout out to Jack, who um, Jack eight seven nine is a Metroid Prime runner who has done a lot in terms of um, helping understand movement. Um, so, yeah, him and Icefire have done a really good job over these past few months, just trying to optimize uh, routing and room movement more. All right, so I'm going to take a save here. Um, because there's a section where I could lose multiple minutes if I mess it up. So Yeah. So I'm just going to save here. Um, one thing to note is there's a technique called rapid fire missile. Where if you just hold C up, 
um, you can spam missiles. Uh, as long as there's no more than three on screen at a time. Yeah, what will happen is you can keep firing missiles, like the animation will happen, but um, you just won't be able to fire any more missiles. There's a limit to how many can be on screen. Nice. Nice. Is it a nine or eight? Eight. Okay. That was an eight. I shot the ninth one for safety. So, yeah, basically, you're supposed to scan Parasite Queen, and then you can lock onto her mouth, but you can just manually yeah. aim up and hit her mouth, and it deals triple damage. Uh, double, I think. Is, uh, is it double? Should be double, yeah. So, it... it Retro Studios, the developer, tries to encourage you to scan enemies to find weak points, um, just to encourage you to use the scan visor more. And so, they're like, hey, there's a weak point we found, and then you just shoot the mouth, but you can just manually aim at it because the hitbox is still there. Okay, um, so coming up, there's going to be a spot where I'm going to reposi get repositioned, get stuck, and then get repositioned. It'll but force you out of bounds, basically. Yep, it's going to force me out of bounds. That's gonna I'm going to let I'm going to let Bash explain this because I need to focus. It's also a little Good. dark. Almost, I think. I've never done this. <laughs> okay, so now Ari's out of bounds, and so we're going to be using... Um, Ari's going to be jumping like on the seams of these rooms. Uh, out of bounds is kind of wonky, where you can't just... You can't always just walk wherever you want to and not fall down. Um, you have to sort of go... You have to sort of understand where the room's bounding box is. There's, every room is surrounded by a box. And so right now, uh, Ari's currently above the box, but just fell in. Um, whenever you're inside the box, you'll be affected by gravity. Um, whenever you're outside it, you can walk around and just there's no risk of falling down, except for when you're in Morph Ball. And so by going in and out of the box, you can actually, um, you have a three frame window to make these jumps where you can um, go in the box, jump, and then go out of the box and then not fall down after your jump. So you just gain tons of height. And so we're going to do this to um, go up this tower here. It's an elevator. Yeah. And then even though, so doing this actually, um, you know, you're going. We skip going through all the ventilation shafts. You, uh, it skips the cutscene where Samus gets damaged and loses all of her upgrades. Um, but there's another check at the very end of the um, of the frigate level when the cutscene happens, I believe, where you'll just lose your items anyway. So you're not going to start the game with various suit. It's not like Echoes where you'll still have... You can skip losing um, stuff like Space Jump, uh, I think Spider Ball, Boost Ball, or Boost Ball at least. It's actually pretty good so far. Nice. Okay, so what I did was a door warp. A door warp is when you let the room load around you, and that allowed me to get back in bounds. All right, 458 isn't too bad. All right, so yeah, the tra the part where you actually lose your items, there's two spots, as Bash mentioned. One in the elevator that we skipped, and the other one is when actually when you land on Talon. Sorry, I'm just tweeting the run out. Should have done it beforehand. I know. I'm not prepared. Anyway. Um, so there's going to be a major sequence break coming up. It's, um, it's a, enormous. It's not going to seem like much, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to dash over to the right and be able to get space jump super early. Ooh, I'm going to... Normally we nice. don't save there and... Yeah, mi uh, missing space jump first is a huge reset point. Nice. So yeah, this is going to really break open the early game because you're supposed to get this item 7th, I believe. Yeah, you're supposed to like get stuff like a... Uh, you're supposed to clear out Chosen Ruins first, like the early items like Charge Beam, Morph Ball Bombs, Morph Ball, um, Various Suit. And then you go have to go get Boost Ball and Vidrana Drifts and then come all the way back here get Space Jump. So it saves you having to do all that backtracking and it just completely breaks open the early game. So, um, like for instance, we're not even going to go fight uh, the Hive Mecha to get our missile launcher. We can just grab a pack of missiles in main in this uh, sort of the hub room in Chosen Ruins. And because we have space jump, we can just jump right to it and uh, skip that boss fight and go straight for Morph Ball afterwards. Yeah, I'll show that off in a moment. But yeah, space jump is just an item that's way more than the sum of its parts. Not only does it give you a second jump, but it just increases the distance you can jump or dash. Um, there are certain rooms, like with, along with using something like called a slope jump, which you'll see actually in a bit here, um, can jump much higher than intended. All right. So yeah, there's a missile on this half pipe, and you can just double jump up to it. Well, space jump up to it. Yeah. So using the half pipe slope, um, you can actually gain extra height. 
um, by colliding with the slope. It's kind of weird, but um, I'm just gonna get this energy jump. tank here so I don't die. Yeah. You lose a little bit of time getting it, but um, almost everyone at any percent gets it just for the sake of having a more consistent early game. Um, these scarabs in this room actually are extremely dangerous. If you just jump through them, they do a ton of damage um, whenever you're not in Morph Ball. But that was actually really good. You didn't... Took like no damage. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's nice. a fight trigger that I just... Yeah, so there's a fight with like a bunch of beetles you have to fight. Um, and then there's a plated beetle variant that's like more powerful. Beat them and then you can get Morph Ball, but... And then just uh, dash right over it. Yep. Oh, but here, here's the fight. Yeah, here's the fight. Um, Hi, guys. Bye, bye. guys. <laughs> Enjoy the uh, the mini boss music for about a minute and a half. It's like three minutes. Oh, three minutes? Oh, I thought it was... Uh, it's all the way to My bombs. sense of time is always just terrible, so I'll just let you correct me. Ooh, okay. So, so yeah, here's where you're going to see a slope jump, which is basically you are holding L and going against, against a surface, and you can or a slope surface, and you can get extra height that way. And that tree is one of many things we'll be abusing, too. Um, it's collision. A lot of things you can actually stand on in Prime, and I believe Prime 2 as well. Um, yeah, Prime 2 has it. Yeah. Okay, this room is weird. I paused there because this is that's one of the f of a couple rooms where the door won't open until every adjacent room has been loaded. And nice. if you pause, oh. then if you pause, the door will actually open early. Yeah, and it's... it's you think, well, isn't it wasting, like, real time? And the answer is yes, but... Um, it's actually the same. Traditionally... Oh, it is? Okay, never mind. Yeah, you don't lose any real oh, time. Oh, no, you're still waiting for the door to open. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, you're actually saving on in-game time. And uh, Metroid Prime, all three Prime games are uh, traditionally run by uh, in-game time. So we'll do some strats like that to uh, save a few seconds on loading. We'll also do uh, some stuff like wait out certain cutscenes, because um, it'll help position us in a better spot, or uh, in the case of like Ice Beam, you'll have Ice Beam equipped by the time the cutscene's over, or fat, or you'll have is. Ice Beam equipped sooner, like 0.6 seconds sooner, so. Explain when we get there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Going on a tangent. Alright, so now that we have Charge Beam, we're going to head over and get more Ball Bombs next. So this is all, with the exception of having Space Jump, this is all pretty normal. Um, there's a safe station, though, that I need to blow this door up. There's a safe station behind this door, and I need that for later. If I don't shoot that missile, um, I'm going to be in big trouble later on. Yeah. I'll explain why when the time comes. It'll happen in about, let's say, what, 40 minutes? About 25 minutes or so? Not even? Oh, no, yeah, way sooner than I thought. All right, wait here a bit for the room to load. I'm impatient. I just kind of just run into that door. Okay. All right, this boss. Frame perfect on morph. We, everybody in the community kind of gets annoyed with this boss because... Hi, Zoid. Um, Incinerator Drone um, has a weak spot that pops up, but the, the timing at which it pops up is random. Um, it, it takes 8 to 13 seconds for the first uh, time for the weak point to pop up. The other three are 15 to 25 seconds. Yeah. So you have up to 35 seconds of variance on this fight. Yeah. It hasn't been too often for me where I'll get like a really bad incinerator drone. Um, we like to call him Zoid. Shouts to uh, David Kirsch, one of the senior software engineers in this game. Yeah, he made. This was one of the first bosses he designed, and he likes the randomness of it. I feel like he's the, the actual random number generator. Like, the game just pulls his brain. It's like, oh. Yeah, you're getting a 55 square maze. Enjoy. Find that out later. So yeah, we usually use the music to tell um, if we have a good or a bad. So uh, far, this is pretty no, average, I think. Not really that great. Oh, uh, never mind. Whoops. Yeah, the music's gonna loop, which is pretty bad. Yeah. Well, unless we get an absolutely amazing fourth round, but. Not still gonna loop. Oh yeah, you're right. Ah, still okay. That was like 16 seconds. That's not it? terrible. Yeah. Like sli just slightly below average Zoid. All right. Oh, bye fusion suit. Hi yeah. fusion suit. <laughs> oh, you're going for it. Yep. 
Oh, oh no. Okay, there's like a two frame window where you can unmorph there, and there's no visual cue for it, so I just mashed to see if I got yeah. it, and it didn't happen. It saves like no time, but it looks cool. Your runs are now invalid. Sorry. Oh. You can't submit it to the speedrun.com boards. Boo. Wait, aren't you going to do Ecore? Why would I do that? Because Jack does it, and that's like the correct way to do it in this game. No, I'm not doing it. We have to go to anymore. first, though. No. All right. There's an energy tank there. Don't you want that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grab this missile up here. Lunchables. Kids meal missile. Someone in the community, I forget who named it Kids Meal Missile, so we've been calling it that ever since. Uh, I'm taking another safety save here because there's an upcoming trick that saves like eight to ten minutes and if you fail it you have one shot yeah. basically it's run over if you fail it and it's you get one shot all right so this is one of the rooms that's heavily abused with space jump so you're normally supposed to like bomb those slots and climb there i'm just going to climb up here on this hive there's an invisible branch there and all right and then we can just bomb jump over this gate. Come on. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so if you obstruct the camera, um, you can get what's called an instant unmorph. And it basically stops the unmorph animation from even happening. You'll see one major use of it um, much later in the run. So here's the Flugster, Flagra. Uh, 20, like, it's like a two minute boss fight that in game time is really like 20 seconds. Yeah, this fight does not take much time fight. at all. Um, so you, Ari shoots that mirror because the bomb slots here won't activate until you actually shoot it. It's not that the bomb slots don't activate, it's that you need to activate. Oh, how do I explain this? The bomb slots are already active, but the f I believe the fight won't end. I don't know the exact um, oh, reason why. But oh. anyway, these bomb slots are not true bomb slots because all I need to do... Oh. Oof. That yeah, happened. At least he did, he did that. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's kind of leaning forward, I think. It's kind of weird. That's, that's not good. All right. I think you can still me on the side. Okay. I should be fine. Yeah, so these bomb slots are not like any other bomb slot in the game. You don't even have to enter them. You can just bomb them and be, or you have to be close enough and bomb them. And it skips having to take down all the mirrors. S the stunning is really bad though, because yeah. when I stunned it, or when I stunned him, because Flogger's not normally supposed to do this. Yeah. Nice. Oh. This is rough. All right. Yeah. You're okay. Yeah, I should be fine. Yeah. Those are like the two riskiest like scan dashes you have to do. Yeah, that was that was, eh. Oh well. And then the last one's usually free, and you can just stun him if you need to. So yeah, just cutscene after cutscene yeah. after cutscene. Yeah, Flogger I think thinks that Samus is standing right next, right in front of it, and so it just slashes. Yeah, I'd say just jump to it. Oh my goodness. There you go. That was rough, but at least we got <laughs> it. All right. There we go. So there's going to be um, this 30-second cutscene. Then I'm going to grab Varia suit, which is another 34-second cutscene. So if you have any time for donations or um, talk a little bit about the event, go ahead. Is there a reader right now? Well, there's various suit, so that'll be absolutely necessary to go to Magmore Caverns. You take heat damage. Yeah. So. Just cutscene after cutscene. It's <laughs> it never ends. Oh, and of course, uh, for those of you that donated for f f uh, Fusion Suit, your uh, whole your eyes are yeah. going <laughs> to be able to see something amazing. Oh, look away. Oh. Ugh. Nope. I'm dying on the inside. This yeah. is bad. 
<laughs> Shoutouts to Vu uh, to Hazel. Fusion so that's Mario. Fusion Various Suit. It's just it's awful. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, um, sorry. I, I'm finally here, so I apologize about mm. that. Um, no worries. Uh, for those that are just tuning in, welcome to Smash the Record. Um, all of donations uh, is going towards St. Jude Play Live. Um, it's the program we're able to do this for St. Jude children. Um, so uh, go ahead and put those donations in. I need a moment of serious already. time. Go right yeah, ahead. sorry. You're totally fine. This is the trick I'm talking, or I was talking about earlier. Ooh, come on. You got it. Nice. Right, good. <laughs> okay, so that there was a little is, low, but you got it. There is a um. There's a trigger in that room which changes the layer here. So instead of having a dead flagra, um, you have a ghost fight. And normally you're supposed to have spider ball and super missiles and come back up that shaft, but you can just go into the corner and infinite bomb jump. Um, Good luck in the fight. Yep. Thanks. So what you can do is you can, uh, if you shoot them. Oh, oh my god. Wow. That's so that's dude. mean. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you shoot them at the right time, just as they're starting to move forward, they'll um oh my goodness, these yeah. ghosts are mean. Effectively Ari is stun locking them in a sense. That's really nice because it's an otherwise annoying fight because they disappear and such and we don't have X ray visor yet. Nice. Nice. Good positioning, too. That was an okay fight. All right. Besides the... So you can let the cutscenes overlap and let it play out and you get wild. Yeah. So Chozo artifacts are required. They don't give you any new abilities, um, but they're needed to unlock the final level in the game. So this is kind of the most out-of-the-way one if you uh, can't do the early wild trick. Because then you have to go get super missiles, spider ball, and then have charge beam. And that's about 10 minutes to get all those. Yeah. Because then you have to fight Thardis, and that's not a really fast boss fight. All right. So, yeah, we're going to be entering Nagmore Caverns. So the first trip through Magmore isn't... There's nothing too crazy that goes on. I mean, there's some swag tr like movement you can do, but... um, I don't, Do you want to... <laughs> I'll just shut up. <laughs> Okay, um, so there's an artifact about two rooms in. Actually, yeah, two rooms in. And normally you kind of like try to look for it with X-ray visor. And I believe it's originally intended for you to have super missiles. Um, but luckily all you need to do is just shoot two missiles at it and the wall will blow up. Nice. <laughs> that was close. That was nice. <laughs> that was really good. So yeah, so we're just gonna be dashing through. Yeah, so there's rooms. just gonna be a lot of movement stuff. If there's, um, if you have any, uh, donations. Any donations. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. So you, I didn't know this. You can actually wiggle out of those um, triclopses, uh, like claws, and just uh, have them let go of you earlier. Just as a reminder, um, we're trying to get uh, still for the uh, Iris cutscene for Mega Man X4, which will be coming up pretty soon. Um, so if you want to hear that glorious, glorious English dub, <laughs> if you want to hear that, watch it, enjoy it. What am I fighting for? <laughs> we, uh, right now, we need 250 right now to meet that goal. So we're really close. Um, so if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and put your donations in for that incentive. So we're going to get a safety energy tank here. Um, we call it race tank because you kind of want it in a race for like a SRL race that we do sometimes. So you don't die? Yeah. 
Oh. Oops. Alright, here's gonna be another insulin nice. morph. That one's, could... that one's actually a lot easier than the one before Flagra. Yeah, and then going back the other way through that tunnel, you can do another one, but it's harder. That one's really difficult. Yeah. Well, it's inconsistent for me, at least. Yeah, same here. I'll just sometimes get it and be like, oh, okay. So, I'm going to be doing a series of jumps here. If you are holding L and R, and then you jump within three frames of landing on the ground, you can do what's called a bunny hop. And that allows you to keep that speed. Now, this is the cutscene we're going to play out. Uh, I could just skip this right now, but Samus walks forward, and that saves about a second of in-game time. So now we can just dash off that guy and then jump up here. You don't have to walk forward and waste like a second or two. I've been really terrible about lending that second dash to the platform. Alright, so you can just... You can roll, roll over, but instead I'm just going to jump over. Nice. It's a really small time save. If you fail it once, then the rolling is just faster, I think. It, yep. It's like a second. And then normally you're supposed to scan a terminal here to uh, bring these bring these platforms down. But I'm just going to do this instead. Nice. That's really good. And then it's also important to uh, try not to fall down this room too because there's a cycle we're trying to meet for this one enemy that we can lock onto and then dash to the uh, door that we just came through to exit the room. I can never get that dash. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. There we go. Pair of the bomb and oh not like God. in the ground. <laughs> I can't even like shoot. Now okay. that I said that you're just gonna get stuck in the ground somewhere trying to boost. That's gonna be funny for me. Depends on where I get yeah. stuck. What are you what are you doing? Oh. Yeah, I get repositioned. Ridley saves us. Yep. He kind of picks us up and puts us back on the on the ledge. Shout out to Ridley's shadow being twice <laughs> as large as Ridley. And a fact I learned yesterday, the wings don't even move in the shadows until Ridley's in view. Well, he might be gliding. Who knows? I mean... That's possible. Even though he's gigantic, doesn't mean he can't fly. Alright, so I'm going to do a dash over here. And that's going to allow me to get out of bounds. Oh, no. Oh, oh we almost saved that. Okay. Okay, um... This isn't terrible, it's just... It's uh, pretty bad. It's pretty bad, though. I gotta wait for... Oh. oh, there's a jump. I just gotta find the outside of the room. So... Yeah, it's better to fall down the tunnel than actually here, but it's this is recoverable. Um, if there's... Do you want to just yeah, go to donations me... while you recover? Or... Yeah, let's okay. do that. Uh, just as uh, another reminder, we're also trying to do for the Super Smash Brothers Melee Home Run Contest... I believe Falcon right now at five hundred dollars, um, and I believe right now it is at fifty-one. So if you want to get that met, we want to go ahead and start going for that donation incentive. I believe uh, we're still reaching for the Watch Iris cutscene. I'm not sure if it's already been met yet since I last spoke about it. Um, and also, just as a reminder of what we're here for, we are here for St. Jude. St. Jude Play Live is here for the kids. Raise money for a great cause while also earning prizes along the way with St. Jude. You can follow them on Twitter for more updates on the program at St. Jude Play Live. So those jumps that Ari was doing, those have a three-frame window to execute, and so there's no, oh, no. <laughs> Did I really just do that? I'd say just go back and bounce and save. No, I'll but be fine. That's rough. Yeah, cause then, so the game slowly pushes you up to go back inside the room's bounding box, and so now we're just waiting to get pushed back into it. That yep. way you can just jump. <laughs> it's it's dumb. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this is a pretty bad room to fall down in. This is the worst room to fall down <laughs> in. In any percent, yeah. No, one of the worst rooms, period, to fall down in. I don't know if Root Cave's worse. I mean, not that you would really fall down ever in like a run. Unless you're doing like Rando or something. So I was trying to find a... Play. I'm trying to find the corner because yeah. if you fall in this game, um, you lose control of Samus. So I'm trying to find a corner so that way if I fall, uh, I can just go into the corner and try to jump again. 
Because, again, these jumps are fr three frames. You have three frames to press the B button. This game runs at 60 frames per second. For you melee fans out there, that's, uh, the, amount, that's, how, uh, that's the window for Fox's jump squat. So pretty tight. Uh, are, I think, are you back in bounds? Oh, no, you're No, you're I'm fine. fine. Nice. <sighs> you got this. Nice. There we go. Yep. All right, finally. All right, so if we fall down here, it's not. It's way better than falling down shorelines. But you're going to totally own this. Hopefully. Had to wait a bit for that room to load. See, so yeah, if you shoot a door and then jump on its side, um, you can manually load and unload rooms. Which I actually need to unload that first room. Because if, if I loaded this room, the game would have crashed. If I didn't unload the other room. Uh, there we go. So we destroyed these um, two guys with missiles for, for, for the sake of speed. I can barely see. <gasps> oh, no. This TV's a little dark, so it's hard to see. You're transitioned, too, so just be careful. Yeah, i got to be very careful here. If, I, if I'm if i not careful, I can, I can soft lock the game. And that's really, really bad. I'm going to go... Okay. No, you're going to stay right there. I actually have a backup in case you need to... No, I don't need it. I'll be fine. There we go. And then jump. Jump. Uh... Nice. And then they can just boost in. So the reason we do all this is because we're about to do uh, Ari's about to do a trick coming up called infinite speed. And you'll see it twice this run. Yeah, so basically the room is, the collision in the room is a little bit messed up, so I can just go into the Whee! wall <laughs> and just do this. I'm holding yeah. left for fifty two seconds. It's a great speed trick. <laughs> um, it's actually going Samus is getting faster and faster. Yeah. And it's gonna get to the point where um, it's going to register as a speed called not a number. So when you boost, you hit that speed of not a number, and it allows you to touch almost every interactable actor at the same time. So I'm going to be grabbing both Wave Beam and the Artifact of the Sun at the same time. Oh, and I'm also going to activate a cutscene to uh, start the Shigat fight. It'll place Shigat you on Wave fight. Beam. Yeah. Yep. And we're just going to skip that fight because we have Wave Beam and the door doesn't lock. At least unless it... The door, door unlocks when you get Wave Beam. Yeah. Oh, then, then you get it, so there you go. Yeah, the door unlocks when you get Wave Beam, and you need Wave Beam to open the door, mm -hmm. so... But the real significance of the trick is so you can get the artifact, and normally you need Plasma to get it, so... And we're not going to get Plasma Beam for a bit. Yeah. And we don't want to come back here ever again. All right. Nice. There it is. Oh, no, oh, two, two Fusion Various. Is... Two Fusion Various Samuses, dude. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. All right. Good recovery, by the way. Thanks. And then we already shot the missiles at the other pillar, so you can just boost through. Yeah, that's why I shot those missiles. They're, they can be shot with missiles and not just bombs. Shout out to that lag. That was kind of weird. Yep, and boost is actually the fastest form of movement, so we use boost ball whenever we can. Um, scan dashing is mostly used when uh, morph ball is not the best idea. So what we're doing now is we're heading back to Chosa Ruins again for a second visit um, to get some items like a Ice Beam and a couple artifacts. And there's one artifact here we're going to get right now. Yeah. Normally you're supposed to use that boost slot and bring up a bridge, but I can just dash over. It took me so long to realize you could actually just get that with Morph Ball. Well, here's the thing with, Mor here's the thing with Morph Ball. Um... 
Samus maintains full height until you're fully morphed. Oh, that's right. That's that's the reason why. Yeah, that kind of explains why you, um, if you try to go into a tunnel as you morph, you just don't go in there until you start rolling or you gain control over the morph ball. Uh, that was okay. It wasn't that wasn't too bad? That dash was weak. That's why yeah. it, it didn't go through as well as I wanted to. Yeah, that spot is the worst place to get stuck. You can occasionally get stuck in Morph yeah. Ball, and I've had it happen there before and lost my run. Yeah. Lava actually does a lot of damage, especially since we don't have that good of a suit yet. So, Varia yeah. only cuts 10% of damage in this game. It's yeah. not like 50% in, I think, Super Metroid. Every suit you get, there's a um, you take less and less damage um, with every new suit you get. Come on. What's up, Zoomer? That cool missile isn't cool enough for you. Yeah, I'll get it here instead of on the way out. We come back through this room later. Some people grab the missile then, others grab it now. Okay. Oh, it's so dark. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a, just a, more of a chill spot in the run. There's not really any... Anything besides just uh, kind of clean up um, if you want to go do some donations unless there's anything you need to say. Excuse me, read some donations. <laughs> All right. I cannot grammar today. Enjoy the elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> and the long elevator cutscene every time. Nothing wrong with elevator music. <laughs> yes, there is. Okay, this one's okay. I like it. Nice. Nice. Just as another reminder, because um, we're still going for the uh, Watch Iris cutscene, um, we're also trying to make a decision for uh, Carcinogen, because he has a choice of which version of Resident Evil 2 of scenario he wants to do. There's Claire A, Claire B, Leon A, Leon B, and I believe Claire A is in the lead. Um, so if you want that switched... Um, Go ahead and put those donations in right now for that incentive. Um, I believe uh, we're also still going for the Super Smash Melee home run contest with near only Falcon. Uh, needs we're, 500. Like Wait, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> weird. I know you cleared the ledge. I was just like, whoa, that was cool. Yeah, I was, the instant yeah. unmorph was cool, but yeah. yikes. Yeah, and then so in that previous room where the morph ball was, uh, you can jump onto that branch and skip spider ball and then just dash across. Yep. And the slope jumps I mentioned before, they are so powerful in water if you don't yeah. have gravity suit. Like, you don't you even, you can do that without space jump. Yeah. It's harder, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. It's ridiculous. Also, I hope you people like golf, because we're going to go for a hole in one. Oh! oh. Well, this run is dead. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I hate boosting through this tunnel, because that debris in the middle. The debris is really annoying. screws with you so much. I got it this time. Nice. So, um, coming up, we're going to go into uh, a room called Magma Pool. And uh, there's a power bomb expansion that you normally need power bombs for, but um, we're going to do our second instance of infinite speed. Um, and this is the more important one, in a sense, because it's a. Uh, I would say this is one of the two biggest sequence breaks in the game. Um, the other one being getting space jump early. Yep. And uh, this one takes longer. Uh, we have more time for donations. Yeah, there's a lot of lag. <laughs> the, pro the thing with this is it actually gives us our... This is the reason why we do the route we do. Um, because before, you would just get a power bomb way later and have to do a lot of backtracking. But with this, we no longer have to do that uh, backtracking in the first place. Just yeah. the morph ball spaz out. Yeah. Enjoy looking at morph ball for 60 seconds. Sorry, whiskers, we're not holding down B today. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that ball go. <laughs> <laughs> How are some of the incentives looking? And it's, incentives are doing pretty good right now. I think we're still reaching for the... Um, the uh, watch the iris cutscene. Um, hopefully, we should be able to get that no problem. I believe for the uh, melee home run contest, it's 500, but we're only at 51. 
um, for the Nair only Falcon. So um, if you want that to happen, go ahead and start putting that donation incentive. Nice. Oh, so if it is speed's interesting, you really can't unmorph except for a few spots, and uh, Ari's going to show you right here. Yeah, because you get a state called light show like this. Oh no. Yeah, his. But yet, yeah, there's a fixed camera there, so that overrides the light show. You'll still get light show if you unmorph right now. Yeah, but, so um, I cannot unmorph. Yep. So basically, no matter what, I cannot press X. Yeah. What's nice about canceling that light show like that, though, is um, you get morph ball back and you can boost safely without causing issues because uh, you get rid of infinite speed in a sense. Right. Whoops. So this is the reason why. Um, Ari has to blow up that missile door that leads to that save station. Um, if you go to a save station or activate any sort of cutscene um, that where you lose control of Samus, you re um, yep. the camera returns to normal. So yeah, it's, can... repos it's getting repositioned. Yeah. Any cutscene that repositions you will yeah. um, fix it. You're not completely soft lock if you're in light show except for um, a few rooms. Like if you... Um... Basically, you can use bombs to open doors and that's about it. Mm -hmm. So this is another uh, out of bounds sequence we're gonna do. It's called um, Ice Beam Before Flagra, After Flagra. Yeah. Um, the last route uh, would have you get this before Flagra, and 100%, I believe you still get it before Flagra. Yep. And um, now we get it after. It could be really annoying, um, especially if you fall down in some rooms, uh, but it's a really cool sequence. It skips having to do a bomb puzzle. Um, it skips having to do this puzzle in this room, and it skips a ghost fight later. Yes. Uh. And you'll see Ari like kind of morph and land on certain spots. Um, that's to load the next room and unload the previous room. You can only have a few rooms loaded at a time, or else you, uh, the game will run out of memory and crash. The other thing is that hitting those triggers actually loads the room in the first place. Yeah. Oh, nice. I think you could still shoot the door, but it's slower. Yeah, you can, and then manually load it. But again, if you have too many rooms loaded at once, the game crashes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, I don't hear the parasites anymore. I'm making sure to avoid a uh, fight trigger there. Yeah, as well. the trigger's right next to where, where Ari just was. And then I just do a door warp here. And that, nice. was, that was good. That was really good. Ah, oh. oh, try to land directly on the toad. You can just do a slope jump on the on the spines of the toad, and get up here. And here's another instance of in-game time save where um, Ari's just gonna let the cutscene play out. Yep. And oh my god, voice crack. Just hold that C down. <laughs> hold that down, buffer the ice beam switch, and you save half a second. Yeah, there's uh, there's one frame where you can change the beam, and if you just hold it down, it works. And then now that we have power bombs, we can go and get um, the next item that's coming up. Yeah, you're not supposed to come here till a bit later. You have to go to mines first and then come back. Yeah, because you're supposed to get main power bombs in phase on mines, and we don't see phase on mines for quite a while. Yeah. <sighs> I love elevators. It's it's so good. Soothing. Get to, you get to see the fusion bar you see more. <laughs> it's fantastic. That's why I don't like it. So, don't need spider ball. You can just jump on that. And then now we have power bomb. We can just open up access to this room. Yeah, and we leave the power bomb as soon as possible yeah. so that way we can use our bombs again. This half pipe sucks. <laughs> Oh, 21%. Let's go. 21. 21% <laughs> is a low percent. And, yeah, you can uh, do a bomb jump up there. Or you have to do a really stupid bomb jump on the bottom oh. if you miss it. I knew you were going to correct that, but that still sucks to overshoot that. Not bad, though. All right. So here's X-Ray Visor, which is super important mm -hmm. for mines. Uh, there's a boss coming up later that cannot be even damaged at all without it. And then that 
that enemy just has a 100% chance to drop a power bomb. They designed that intentionally because uh, in a casual playthrough, imagine blowing up the rock with one power bomb and then not having any left to blow up the wall to that room. It'd be over. Yeah. So they put that in there so that way you don't soft lock your game. Yeah. Well, not soft lock them. Um, yeah. So you don't get stuck. Well, if you're like playing casually and you don't know how to get out of that room, technically it's soft lock. Shout out to T3. Strat's new. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. Oh. Oh. The That's camera. Okay, deal. the camera turns. That's yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, did you hold down L? Yeah. Let's okay. not talk about that. So. Okay, you're supposed to fight ghosts and leave through the top, but I can just jump on that platform, do an R jump, and get out instead. Oh. Oh, don't be mean. It was going so don't well, too. Don't be mean. Okay. Actually, it wasn't too bad. That wasn't terrible. Everyone could get way worse for no reason sometimes. It, the, the thing is, the collision there is smooth. But it's like the camera just can mess things up. and it, It's a weird room. We have no idea why it's, it can be, be bad, but luckily it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, and then the reason I also mentioned twenty one percent is that I don't believe you you don't get boost ball in that run, right? Nope. So you you have to you're yeah, you hope to get that bomb jump or you have to do a half pipe bomb jump and it's just annoying. It's really it's hard. It's it's bad. That's why I'm never running that category ever. At least not single segment, but So that's it for uh sort of the second Chozo uh slash really? talon cleanup. There we go. <laughs> It's not that big of a deal, because that door takes a while to load. That room takes forever to load. Oh, it didn't even... <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Good game. Good game design. Thanks, Retro. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're coming, coming through Talon Overworld. Um, so one, we can save at the ship to refill, and the other is to get over to Magmore as quickly as possible to get Plasma Beam. Yeah, and then this will be the last missile expansion we're going to get this run. Aside from maybe a backup in... Is it? Elite, like, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is the last one. Yeah, because you have 30. Uh, the minimum missile count you'll need for an 80% run is 25, um, but 30 helps you have a much more consistent phase on mines. Nice. That own morph is really easy to get, actually, but it's annoying if you don't get it for whatever reason. So we'll take a refill here at um, the ship. Oh, I landed it. Nice. <laughs> nice. And we'll save. Yeah, good idea. Free save. Oh. I didn't have scan visor out Yeah. Then. Oops. Just a quick dash to the door. That was a weird dash. Yeah, that I was... I thought you were going to hit the wall or something. That's what I thought. Alright, so now is our uh, second Magmore run. Uh, mainly just to get Plasma Beam. Yep, so there's a room coming up where you're normally supposed to have Spider Ball. And you go along a spider track to get across lava. Well, Technically Grapple too. No, you don't need Grapple. You don't need Grapple, but... The game, exp I mean, Retro expects well, you to have it. Well, you need Grapple later, but I'm talking about one specific oh, room. yeah. One room at a time. Sorry, so, yeah, this I'm room you need Spider Ball. And, but instead, I can just do this, which is uh, called a Bunny Hop. That I was nice. Bunny. Nice. <laughs> that was so good. So, yeah, if you jump within a three-frame window of landing on the ground, you can just keep all that extra speed. And yeah. since I'm sideways, ooh, I should not have pressed R there. I have no speed cap, so I can just yeah. constantly gain speed. That was close. I almost let go of L there before dashing. Yeah, so correction, it's it's this room here that the game um, you're expected to have grapple beam. You're expected to have ball. grapple beam, but you can just do an R jump from here to get here. You're supposed to grapple from the other side. Yeah. You'll see the grapple point right there. And if you're really good, you can uh, skip boost ball too and just do a dash all the way to the top, I think. Um, I think so. I don't know how it's done without boost, though. I think I've only ever seen Justin do it, and I don't remember how it works. So there's a slope, dump, a slope jump there, and then we just jump across and... 
Yeah, the slope jump skips the spider, the necessary use of the spider track. So, I actually really like this room casually. It was a really cool, like, kind of spider. Yeah, this puzzle, this like, puzzle is really cool casually. It's long though, but uh, we don't have spider and it takes too long. So I'm just gonna jump up here. Oh, oh, good save. Yeah. You're just gonna do slope jump up. Or? Yeah, I'm just. There's okay. a backup strat. If you miss it. Nice. And that's plasma beam. So now we have all four beams. Yep. Plasma doesn't offer you much in terms of what rooms you can explore, except for um, the uh, lower phase on mines. Oh, come on. <laughs> what happened? Were you trying to bunny hop that? I tried bunny hop that, and it didn't work. Oh, my oh, goodness. You tried the dash. <laughs> that did that not close. work out as well as I was expecting. I didn't even notice you switched beams. Yeah, so there's one thing I'm going to be doing a lot in this section of the game. Uh, oh, 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 no. That's right. I almost made that. Luckily, there's another backup. There's like a backup for just about everything. Okay, you didn't get DF'd. You're good. Or whatever that... Whatever that's called. You told me last night and I already forgot. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> so... I'm switching beams a lot because I'm anticipating what the next door is going to be. Because uh, I'm more if I'll you know, go into another room. This just saves time because otherwise if you don't do that, you have to unmorph, switch your beams, then shoot, and it, it wastes time. So like here, for example, I'm going to switch to wave as soon as I hit that door and then morph. And we skip spider ball. Yep. Nice. Ooh, that was close. Although, now that we're here, um, this is actually something I really like about the current route, is that it's actually very, really beginner-friendly. Because um, after you're done with this section, you can go straight to Thardis if you want to get the Spider Ball. Yep. The other thing about this, about it being beginner-friendly is that you don't need to do any of the out-of-bounds tricks that I've, I've oh, no. done so far. You can... Uh, Shout-out to Jack again. He, uh, he currently has the record for inbounds, any percent, with uh, 58 minutes. Just to give you a comparison, um, oops. <laughs> going out of bounds, the ones I used in my best time, which is also a 58, um, saves two and a half minutes, roughly, over yeah. what he did. Yeah, Jack's and he got a 58. An incredible runner. So he's, yeah. Oh, I didn't get the instant on Morphe. Yeah, there. it's unfortunate. Saves a little bit of time. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I haven't fallen there in a while. All right. At least give me a power bomb. Nope. Nah. Yeah, they can drop power bombs. Yeah, there's a power bomb expansion you can get in that room you were just in to get that artifact. Um, it's faster to skip it, though. Um, there's a, You have to rely on some hopefully good enough RNG, and you have several chances to get a drop. So usually it's worth it. But. Yeah, each, um, each drop in um, two rooms have a 2 in 7 chance of giving you a power bomb. So there's another beam swap. Yeah. It's kind of weird how like you're just required to I mean, it makes some sense like with um we're entering laps backwards here. You're normally supposed to go in the Yeah, we're supposed way. to go this at the end. Um at the end of labs, it's one of the last rooms, and then we leave. Come on. Give me that energy. This room can really. This room can really suck sometimes. This room is the turrets just, and the pirates c combined just. They can really troll you. And okay, this room we're entering completely backwards. There's a pirate that's supposed to break the glass, um, and if your movement's a little, if your movement is off a bit, you can accidentally trigger him, and he won't break the glass. But luckily, he was nice to us. That box dropped absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thanks. What did Edward drop? I think it was just health, I think. No, it dropped nothing. Oh, nothing too? Dropped absolutely Neither nothing. Neither of them dropped anything. Oh, he dropped Oh, wait, health. it probably dropped missiles. Mm, maybe. Yes, because if you have full missiles... So the way drops work in this game is it's based on each room, and the game just doesn't care what you have. Yeah. So you could be at 10 life, and it's like, oh, and full missiles. Like, oh, you want more missiles, right? Here's a power bomb. <laughs> and then if you have full missiles, it won't even show anything. So we're not losing any time 
necessarily. Uh, yeah, we have to get an artifact over here. Yeah, because we can blow up in that box again once we, when we go back in that room. We're just going this way to, yeah, get an artifact. Ooh, that oh, that be. might be it. I think that was I it. I think that was it, yeah. Oh. Okay, so yeah, normally you're supposed to go into control tower, shoot a glass window with plasma beam. Ice. It's an ice. Oh, yeah, it's an yeah. ice window, right? Nice. But yep, you, got it. you can just nice. jump over the gate or jump over the barrier. I think Whiskers calls that box that you got the power bomb from the uh, optimal box or something like that. It doesn't matter. It is an optimal box. Yep, there it is. I need the power bomb for later. Mm -hmm. So you could you could go out of your way to get supers, but we don't need them, so we're just gonna skip it. It's a low trigger here that I'm trying to avoid. Nice. Oh, oh I, I hit it. <laughs> Run because invalidated. We came, because we went through that room backwards, the elevator wasn't scanned. So if you hit the low trigger for the other room, um then don't, it reloads. Don't yeah. forget the E-Tank. I'm not going to forget the E-Tank. See, there's an E-Tank here that loses very little time to actually grab. I'm going to do it for safety. All right. So this room, it doesn't take too long to get Thermal Visor, so even though it's not required, we're going... It's not required for a run. It makes the last fight like way more consistent. Yeah. I basically use it for that, and then um, one of the mines rooms because it gets dark. Yeah, it gets dark, especially with then this TV being dark as it is. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? We're just getting bombarded with missiles. No problem. Oh, sometimes, pose. sometimes that cut, sometimes you will get knocked just as the cutscene happens, and you just see an image of Samus in front of her. <laughs> you just like look at yourself. Yeah. <laughs> or you could just play uh, randomizer, and it skips that that um, that thermal cutscene, and you can see the other 3D model of Samus. So we're done with Fendrana. We just have to uh, get out of here. Just get out of this room. It's... Nice. Ooh, that was close. Yeah. Oh, it actually was. I didn't even Whoops. see that. <laughs> and then this energy tank's free. Okay. So now we have everything we need to go to phase on mines um, in one go, in one trip. Which is really nice. Yeah, so the reason we need the power bomb is because the entrance to phase on mines in Magmore is blocked by a power bomb rubble, so there's no way you can get in unless you have a power bomb. Unless you go out of bounds, and that's not fun. See that right here? And then there's uh, zoomers in the back here that have a 100% chance to drop power bomb because I need another one coming up. Yeah. It's really bad if you don't have a power bomb going into Magmor because the drops are so rare here. Whoops. So you could just. I think it's like 10%. Minutes. Yeah, it's really small. I've more likely gotten a power bomb drop from the uh, the triclops underneath. Yeah, I think that's what I would do if I didn't have one. But even then, you're. Ideally, you don't. You just want to have a power bomb before you even go back yeah, to Magmore. Just make sure you have a power bomb. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you can boost down this, and it can be very terrifying if you mess it up. Oh. So yeah. I'm just gonna jump down. Mines is kind of the one of the coolest parts of the run. It's challenging. There's a lot of cool movement. Get your um, laptop. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, so Bash is getting out a laptop. Yeah, we're going to fight this Elite Pirate. Kind of. Are we? Well, depending on uh, how I, bad you the You can fight is. the Elite Pirate. I'm <laughs> not fighting the Elite Pirate. I'm going to jump in his head and leave. <laughs> or not. You, like, kind of got to jump. Oh. 
Okay. Nope. I'm doing the backup. <laughs> the backup man. strat. Yeah. Yep. There's a backup strat. Thankfully, he's not the only. Th he's not the only uh, thing you can jump on um, yeah. to skip the fight. You can just jump here. And there we go. Fight skipped. Uh, my laptop is being weird right now. Uh oh. That's no, okay. It's it's just I have to close it, put it, open it up again. I mean, it's not necessary, which is a good thing. I have to be <laughs> your execution. All right. Yeah, this thing's not cooperating with me. Oh well. Basically, this is a program that lets you know what maze you get um, in the subcoming room. Yeah, because there's 300 possible mazes. Yeah. And it's completely random. And you have a 1 in 300 oh, chance oops. of getting the worst one. There we go. All right, I can maybe beat this, but... Or You're I not going to beat it. I can show it later. I can, I'll, I'll just memorize it and just try to do it later. All right. Don't worry about it. Uh, Let's see, left, four. left up, and left up. All right, that looks like a weird one. All right. Oh, wait. No, this isn't the one I was thinking. I thought it was a 55, but nope. Oh. It is not... It still looks pretty yeah, the, bad. The maze, so there's 300 mazes, and they can vary from 50, uh, 15 squares to 55. You usually want to get around 30 just on average. You want but 15, is, but... Well, you want 15, yeah, but... Where is it taking you? It's like a... What was that? That like? was a weird maze. Yeah. Well, I'm too late, but... <laughs> 48584 is what you should be inputting, I believe. Okay. So we get the main power bomb upgrade. Uh, All right. So I'm going to take a safety save here because of another trick that is easy to lose your run on. You said 48584? 48584. Four, eight, eight, yeah. Oh, it's a, either a 37 or a 41. It's the, um, it's the top one. Yeah. Let's see if I can get on the camera here. Yeah. It's hard to see because of the player cam, but... Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's way too much. Uh, you can see that maze there. It's this top one here. And it, it's in yellow, but there's like a tracking use. Shout out to Claire's for making that. It's really cool. It's not that big of a deal, but um, the fact yeah. that we know how to like how to account for each maze is pretty... It's actually really cool. Yeah, Claire's really clever. made that... Ha actually had to draw every single one of those random mazes. So major shout outs to her. So now this section is the uh, lower mines. Probably the. I don't know if we want to talk about it right now, but. Yeah. So this room you're supposed to have spider ball, to get up. Uh, there's a spider track right to my right, but. We don't have spider ball. We don't have spider ball. <laughs> that guy might follow you up. Whoa! That was cool. That was interesting. Uh. I just dash nice. off the Metroid. <laughs> and bye. Oh my god, it's so dark. I wonder if that actually saves time. It probably doesn't, but... Shoot, um, dashing off the Metroid? It's roughly yeah. a second. Oh, by oh. the way, this is going to be fun. Yeah, you can just stand there and just... Bye. Yeah. I can even go into the other room if I wanted to. Normally, there's a barrier once it comes up. So, like, for example, I cannot walk through here until it's all done. But you can just jump over that barrier. Okay, this room. Uh, I'm going to be going out of bounds here. By having a glider push me out. Yeah. And I'm, Ari's going to need some serious time I'm going to need a lot of serious time here. I'll try to explain it after. But definitely the hardest out-of-bounds sequence oh, to Oh, whoops. Not. I got to wait. Yeah, basically you're going to jump on that glider and then use it to clip out-of-bounds. Yep. And there's a good chance to... Oh, did you save? I did. Okay, and good. I also I have I also have the other safety save in case, which good, I good. might be using because of how long it took me to take care of uh, Wave Song. All right. Can't see. Shh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I am so surprised I got that because I I could not see my visual cue at all. Yeah, it's not over yet though. There's still some walls that um, Ari's gonna have to boost through, and there's a chance you get stuck in. Just soft lock. Uh, 
That's fine. That's actually annoying. Oh, it's so dark in here. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to see if you can jump. Oh, there you go. There's the box. There. You also have thermal. Yeah, I know. Where? Where? Huh? <laughs> where am I? Oh! I'm nowhere near where I was thinking I was. Okay. It's super dark, so it's like... On my TV, it's really dark. I cannot see a thing. Alright. There, there we go. I'm in the right spot now. This... Oh, this room isn't loaded anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now it should be. Yeah. There we go. That makes sense. Whew. Okay, so now I gotta be in a specific spot at a specific angle to boost through. Oh, uh, that's kind of bad. All right, let's... Luckily, I didn't softlock. Nice. There we go. There's still one more, though. Also, I got to grab that quick, because... That phase on, that really phase on deals 1.2 damage per frame. They really don't want you getting that early. Because you need phase on suit to beat the game. I don't like that at all. I'm going to try again. That's... Nice. Nice. There we That's go. That's awesome. <laughs> Good recovery there, too. I was too. so worried about missing yeah. that. Yeah, there's two chances to soft lock from both boosts, I think. And Also, the wall, yeah. wall crawl being a term we use for uh, traversing out of bounds, that wall crawl was really rough. Yeah, it's. Oh, man, okay. that allows you to skip phase on suit. Um, or it allows you to get that item. I don't have to, I don't have to backtrack anymore. Yeah, no more backtracking. Nice. Yep, you can just dash that over. That movement's so good. Uh, save. What am I doing? <laughs> you did the uh, Frederick, or whatever it is. That's Fre that's it, Frederick, okay. and he's a pain in. Actually, pretty yeah. much every plasma pirate we yeah. need Frederick. What I like to do is get close to him and then okay. bait out a melee. So attack. if you go to the side here, um, and skip the cutscene, Omega Pirate can't see you. Now the way these pirates work is if you're not in their direct field of vision, um, they'll Start spinning around until they can see you. And then R is going to try to skip a uh, tri pirate trooper spawn here. Nice. Oh, no. Early. Don't forget the scan. That, yeah. Okay, Plaza. Oh, I got good. lucky. That's really good. I got lucky. Yeah. Plaza's good. They, they'll die really quickly. Okay, so Omega Pirate spawns in the pool furthest away from you and won't spawn the same pool twice. Uh, so I can actually manipulate exactly where he's going to go. So, yeah. So because Ari's standing here, the pirate will spawn, uh, Omega Pirate will spawn right in front of her. That should be good. Should be fine. Nice. Nice. Good. Okay, so you you can damage Omega Pirate with power bonds, but the thing is you need to have X-Ray Visor up. Omega Pirate will not take any damage whatsoever if X-Ray Visor is not equipped. 
That was a, actually pretty good mines, just, uh, just besides the um, the wall crawl. The was, wall crawl, but the wall crawl yeah. was rough, but I managed to make it work. This is still single segment. Yep. I think. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> also, gravity suit. That's really not gravity suit, but okay. Yeah. So <laughs> what happens is every time there's a suit cutscene, it shows the next suit in line. So after Vari, you're supposed to get gravity. And I skipped gravity because who needs who needs to float or who needs to yeah. uh, have good water physics? Wait, you need to go get newborn. Oh wait, we already got I it. Already got <laughs> it. Uh, that was funny. Oh, it's okay. Really? That was <laughs> weird. I just accidentally pressed X. Yeah, I lost a run falling down here twice, but <laughs> I didn't. Tr I didn't press X. That was just. Yeah, you, you just dash off there. Yeah. Normally that's not a problem, but for it's some reason I hit X. My thumb slipped. Oops. Because I meant to hit A to get rid of Scan Visor. And that energy tank doesn't impact in game time at all because you just walk into it. It's so fast, so you just yeah. get it. <laughs> it caught it, your way again. I just hit a wall. Yeah. And those turrets are actually more powerful versions of the other turrets you'd see in the game. They're not really an issue, though, but they can be dumb. So basically now we're just cleaning up um, the rest of phase on mines. There's one more artifact we have to get. There's a cutscene. Or there's a cutscene trigger here to fight an elite pirate, but you can just jump right over it. Yeah. There's a small space you can jump um, on top. All right. Okay, hopefully you get some good drops here. I need. I want to have at least 24 missiles. I didn't even see how many power bombs you had, so... I had two left. Yeah. Wow! Oh, no! So we need 24. Oh, we could, you could probably kill one of the, um, I'll just the bomb moves. No, the bomb moves don't drop missiles. Okay, just, oh, just switch to plasma or something? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst thing. So I've, And those, those boxes are more likely to drop missiles. Yeah. I've never had it drop yeah, three usually, energy. Usually you're really good on missiles. Okay, count. so this... It's called a bomb space jump. You can unmorph within 21 frames of leaving the ground. So you just do an instant unmorph. And, oh, I can barely see this. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. Yep, nice. Good. There we go. First try. Yeah, so you basically just try to catch yourself in collision. And, uh, yeah, first try, first shaft is really good. So then this is the second of the spiderless shafts we're doing here. This is probably the most difficult movement to do without spider ball. It's not that bad. It's just hard to learn. That rock is so stupid. It's so dumb, and it's so dark. This TV is really dark. Nice. Oh, there we go. So you can just get down on anything and just... That's the last uh, thing we'll kind of need to skip Spiral for. Yeah. Oh, good. yeah. By the way, I'm entering this room backwards. Yeah, there's a wall here that we're just clipping through like we were for early newborn. So oh, Calvin? and say hi to Calvin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. And then I Ari's killing some turrets here to... I my life right now. To, um... All right, where is the lag? Where's, where's Calvin? What's up, Calvin? I just want to kill him. Yeah. Calvin can do so many things. I've seen him like go into the wall and die for no reason. Um, nice power bomb too. Don't need it, but there's the missiles. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're yeah, doing missiles. Yeah. So this, this um elite pirate, what happened? You cannot break that glass until you have main power bombs. Even if you have power bomb expansion, it just won't work. Yeah. This guy's just a faster elite pirate that did, has more health, so. Oof, that was close. Uh, that's a little sketchy. Okay, we're good. Nice. Yeah, if you scan that too early, then the platforms won't go down at all. <laughs> or they won't go down enough, and you can't really, like, jump on them. I think. Or, yeah, I'll that's correct. It, there is a couple variants of what will happen. T3. I'm not going to do Aww. that strat. Ah, what am I doing? It's too low, I think. Yeah, it was too low. All right, we'll fix that. Yeah, sometimes you can Calvin run like when you're trying to enter this room for the first time. Um, Calvin will just like kind of walk into you, and you might boost like into him and fall off. It's just it can get really annoying, or the turrets can knock you off. All right, this room has a really long, really slow spider sh puzzle. Um, that if any plans on running this game, this is probably not the tr puzzle to do. This yeah. is super slow. But yeah, again, you can jump on almost anything. It's a really dumb jump. 
That jump is really stupid. Yeah. There's an R jump set that we could do for it that makes it a lot more consistent, though. But, yeah, if you... I remember having a lot of difficulty with this jump when I was first doing it. Nice. Oh, and then this cutscene's going to play out as if you're entering phase on mines yep. for the first time. But we're leaving, so we're done. Yeah, you're supposed <laughs> to enter here, but this is the first place you enter phase on mines from. But, nah, that didn't happen. All right. We are done with mines. <sighs> Thank so goodness. So, all that's left is we have to go back to Chozo Ruins a third time to get an uh, artifact that um, you need Plasma Beam for. So, we didn't have it at the time. Otherwise, we would have gotten it. And uh, after that, we just go to the end of the game. Yep. Fight our friend Ridley. Have a good time. Hopefully get perfect RNG again. Yep, just Ridley. No Kraid. I almost press X again. Cross your fingers for Prime 4. Nice. That was cool. <clears throat> the scan visor is so good. Yeah, so we're Just dash anywhere. So, so I'm heading back to um, a room called Hall of the Elders. It has the Chozo statue and the three bomb slots that causes the statue to do various things um, in order to get an artifact called Artifact of World. Yeah. But because I went out of bounds, there's a ghost fight that never actually happened. So I can actually skip that ghost fight. Oops, that didn't go as well as planned. As long as you don't fall in the water, you're good. And even if you do, it's not hard to get out. Yeah. It's just slow. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> That's the visor. So, yeah, there's a ghost. There's a trigger I'm going to try to avoid, and I need some serious time. Nice. Okay, I was wrong. I said I haven't missed that in over a week. I'm going to miss it today. <laughs> and it didn't happen. I got it. Mix up for all the, the wall crawls. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Well, except for IBBF. That was really good. Yeah, and then before Ari morphed, she uh, switched to Ice Beam. And then that instant morph just lets you get out of Morph Ball quicker. So. I, s I switched to Ice Beam before I even went into the bomb slot. Yeah. So that's technically the second to last artifact we have to get, oh, but the last up. one's at the... Yeah, I actually need to make... I actually have to jump off, or do a slope jump off this statue, because this trigger is still there. Yeah. So if I hit that trigger, the door will lock. That slope jump isn't really that hard. It just... It can be annoying sometimes. It was a little, yeah, I, I had some trouble with that. And then a slope jump off this guy, and we're out of here. Bye bye, chose a room. Yeah, and this room again takes a while to load. Don't forget to save. I'm gonna save at the ship. I know. <laughs> I'm so glad Fusion Suit won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get to see this nice orange. We don't get to see the the best looking fusion suit, which is gravity in my opinion. Yeah, fusion gravity is the best looking one. Yeah. Gravity's probably the best one in normal as well. I love Gravity Suit. Yeah. It's a shame we skip it in any percent. I know some people don't like the way Phase On Suit looks in the game, but I like it. I like the black and red. I would rather be blue. Blue would be nice as well. Well, if you get that uh, that amiibo for uh, Metroid Return of Samus. Or Samus Returns, excuse me. You can at least get Fusion Suit in that game. There we go. Nice. That's what I wanted to do the first time. That was time. a cool bunny hop. So we have a $100 donation from MBT Technology that says this is for Ari's Metroid Prime run. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, support St. Jude's. It's a really great cause. Oh! oh. So that's ship dash. It's really hard, but it's really fast. There's a quick backup, though. Yeah. You have that to do like this R dash, and it's just. <laughs> it sucks. That backup can be really dumb, so I'm glad it. <laughs> I am so glad that didn't. Just happen. with the dark, the dark TV. It's yep. just. 
That's the opposite of, of the Echo's run last year. It was too bright last year, right? I wasn't there. I just remember. It was the way the TV was. Yeah. It was like, it was just freaking out. Oh, STR. Yes, I got to write a message. All yeah. right. And... Oh, that R was a little weird, but yeah. there we go. Just oh, in time. Oh, you forgot the hashtag, dude. Shut up. <laughs> you forgot the hashtag I'm in not the 2017. Doing that. I don't have time for that. Yes, you do. Well, you got time for that. So that's the last artifacts. We've got everything we need to get to the final boss. The final level, too. Yeah, and you can switch the cutscene during this. Yep. All right. But then Ridley, Ridley decides he's, he wants in on the action, so... Uh, Ridley has 2,600 health, and you're going to see about 2,000 of that HP go away really quickly. Which is great. <laughs> I even know he can... I got him. I heard it. Yeah. Okay, so, so Boost Ball is interesting. Boost Ball actually deals a lot of damage. 50,000 per frame. It's about Yeah, 50,000 damage per frame. So I took out Ridley's ground or flying phase in one frame. And it's great because the flying phase is extremely slow, and the ground phase is a lot more consistent. You have to do the ground phase anyway. Yeah. And then by doing this, you get the cutscene. Um, if, you, if you have to hit his chest and skip all that, phase, uh, skip, do all that damage while he's on the ground. Yeah, um, saves in game time. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't explain that well. Ah, uh, not wide enough. Yeah, I wasn't too. F I wasn't far enough to the right. I am not going to try it the other way. Yeah. You can hit him in the mouth as he turns around, but I find that I'm a lot more prone to getting that invincibility frame. There's an invincibility glitch that can happen, and it's really stupid. Nice. Yeah. That, that was good. a good fight. Yeah, last night's fight you had was insane. The absolutely perfect RNG. Yeah, that um, Ridley's perfect. Ridley doing the dash um, can be a little bit tricky because you have to manually aim. And the game is not designed for you to manually aim. So anytime you see manual aiming, yeah. it's pr it can be pretty tricky. The spot you're supposed to aim at, too, is kind of deceiving. You have to aim a little farther out to the right than uh, it looks. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to hit the hand. Yeah. So this is Impact Crater. It's the last level in the game. Just a couple of rooms, and then uh, we'll be fighting the final boss. Yeah, so I can skip a large portion of this room by doing a slope jump there. Oh. Oh. I think you held down L and slid off. Yeah, that's... Okay, you're going to have to kill that Metroid, I think. Maybe not. Oof. Oh, nice. I'm fine. Okay, you didn't fall down. Yeah, the thing about those fission Metroids is that they will respawn. And they're the worst Metroid in the game. <laughs> they're really bad. Because if you try to kill them without power bombs, they then split. Yeah. They're even worse in the PAL version because they appear in mines after you beat the Omega Pirate. So this is Metroid Prime. This is the Exoskeleton. This is the first of the two fights. Okay, so Metroid Prime has uses power and wave the first... In the first subchamber, there's four subchambers. The second one has Power Wave Ice once each. The third one is Power Wave Ice Plasma once each. The fourth one, uh, she just does whatever she wants. Yeah. Sometimes Metroid Prime will be nice in subchamber four, but not always. But um, Ari's gonna bait out these melee attacks by standing close to Metroid Prime, and that way um, Exo won't do any other attacks. It'll just melee attack you. Which is good. Uh, Prime has a huge variety of attacks that they can do, um, including spawning like these energy orbs that will do a ton of damage if you don't shoot them in time. Although they do do they do um, drop refills, but yeah, a lot of this is just execution, especially since we don't have any beam combos like Super Missile or Ice Spreader. Nice. Nice. That's really good. Having Ice be the first one is ni is really good because um, the beams actually deal varying amounts of damage. Uh, fully charged Power Shot deals 50. 
A fully charged wave does 40. Fully charged ice does uh, 90 to Metroid Prime. And uh, Plasma's 100. Plasma's 100. Oh, you hit him. Strat where ice beam hits. I have hit my meme quota. Oh, whoop. It didn't hit. Wow. I thought that was. I thought I. I thought I had less. You know, yeah. Less to hit him for. Yeah. So what are you doing it, here? Oh, sorry. There's a spot where you can just shoot Metroid Prime and it'll snipe. You'll get a snipe shot yeah. like that. The time window is actually really generous. You just have to hit him in, the, in its head because that. That's like the only part of its hitbox you can actually hurt. Oh. Wow. That was good. I did not know that. Okay. That was actually kind of ideal, right? Could wave last and ice first? Yes. Yeah. That's ideal. Because if you have either wave or ice um, last, you have a 50% chance of getting plasma here. And I got power. That's the other possibility. You can actually it damage power with flamethrower. It's kind of dumb. Ah. And for some reason... Primal always uses that tractor beam and like when you start the third phase. It's a grapple beam. Yeah. Oh, Prime sorry, grapple uses beam. grapple beam more than we do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> Ugh. That's not... At least you got the shots in, but yeah, it's not good. Alright, let's take care of it. Yeah, so now I actually have to make sure to avoid the... Uh the melee attacks, if I get hit by it, I end up getting stunned yeah. for a and bit. The melee attack's the only the only animation it has where, um, I believe, where once you do enough damage where it'll just take t do that damage animation, it won't cancel out of what it's doing. Uh, Plasma, I think. Or no, did it do plasma yet? Nice. Fight's going okay. Yeah, so we got one more subchamber left, and again, this one she can do whatever she wants, and it's completely yeah, random. It'll change. It'll it'll change its color at will. It can charge at you for no reason. That's that's lucky. <laughs> okay, that's not great, but you can damage it. Yeah, you're not losing any time here. I didn't get refills. Oh, I hate that tail or that back leg. Yeah, that can sometimes happen. Good wait. Yep. Ah. The wave orbs are annoying because they can get rid of your lock on. At least I'm getting the snipes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're doing really good there. Yeah, I got unlucky. And you don't have the beam switch after this one, too. Oh, no, you stick it with Ice Beam, right, during the second fight? For Metro Pro yeah. or Essence? No, yeah. I use Power. Oh, okay. All right. So there's Exo. That's Exo. That's definitely the harder of the two fights and just more RNG prone. Essence can be annoying, but you can it's, it's a lot more manipulable if you do it, if you do the fight right. So. All right. Are you going to skip the music? or? Yeah, I'm going to skip it. I, mean, I I like to hear things. I like to hear it. Yeah. So, yeah, if you skip this cutscene right away, the music doesn't happen at all. Um, here's, an, here's a fun fact. If you skip it towards the very end, you get a white screen, and it stays there forever. <laughs> oh, it's not good. That's, uh. It's not the worst. Oh, what am I doing? As long as I'm over here to manipulate... Yeah where she spawns because she'll spawn above you yeah yeah metroid prime will rotate wherever you cut tries to buy itself where you're standing okay so i'm timing my shots to make sure i'm canceling uh her attacks because she'll just she has a set number of attacks she'll do and then she'll lay the next pool nice so ideally with this setup you can kill metroid prime in three pools uh it's behind you there. Okay, okay that's, that's fine. That's fine. If she's too close to her corpse, she will skip a pool. I think so, if she's too close to the wall, too, she might um, just immediately transition and not lay a pool down. But I think you're okay. Yeah, you're good. So with this third pool, uh, Ari's going to move in and out of the phase on pool itself. If you shoot your 
the phase on beam and immediately step out of the pool. You actually won't consume any ammo in the pool. So, I have never seen her this high up. Yeah, that's crazy, but this is really good. And time's coming up when yep, the death cutscene yep, starts. Yep, once the cutscene starts. And... Time. Time. All right. Just barely underestimate. Nice barely job. Barely underestimate. So normally at the end of these runs, luckily this was a single segment run. Yeah, Normally it is. we check the in-game time at the end. Do we have a little bit of time to do that? All yeah. right, perfect. We just need like a minute and a half to just see yeah. the in-game time. Wow, that was actually really good. Just, just, you know, you only fell down, but like early newborn went well. Early newborn. Didn't like, that didn't go or, well. Or sorry, it, it, I mean, you, you did early newborn. Yeah. You got to show that off. Yeah, I, got, I was able to show that off and not have to load up. I had a backup save a couple yeah. rooms ahead just in case. Because that room can be a disaster. Yeah. Sorry, my criteria is you did it, so it's <laughs> it's good enough for me. <laughs> so anyone who is interested in learning Metroid Prime wants to learn the game, you oh, can basically you, you can basically use this route. Um, just you don't need to go out of bounds, and you can get Spider Ball. So it's super friendly for beginners now. Um, we have a Discord channel available. Um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of people who are very good at like helping each other out. Yeah. So like if you if you're interested in learning the game, you can message me. You can go on the Discord, and so like, I would like I would like to see as yeah, yeah. For some <laughs> reason, it switches to gravity. That's the one time you see fusion gravity in this run. Yeah. Um, if you the current video we have on learning the current route is um, by Remy Demi. He's a really good runner from Europe. Um, ran at. Uh, ESL ESA. Germany, I think. Yes. Oh, or e uh, ES he did ESA last ESA, year, sorry, I think, 2016. Yep. But, um, yeah, that tutorial is probably the best tutorial to look at for starting out and kind of like learning the route itself. Yeah, I've only been running this game for about seven months now, and yeah, it's been it, that video is a godsend for me. That that video is what got me into Metroid Prime. Yeah. All right, what we got. All right, 103? let's see. One hundred three. One hundred three, I think. Oh, 106. 106. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 127. Yeah. 42. That makes sense. Well, hey, good job. Yeah. Single segment. At least I got a single segment. I was able to show off early newborn. Well, thank you guys for having us here. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Hope you did, too. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. All right. Take care.